All right, guys, so along with the transforming Super Boo and the new Supreme Kai's vs. Kid Boo story events, uh, we got some surprising cards, the Western Supreme Kai. I did not think that, you know, they would give her, like, a, a usable card, let alone two. Now, this one right here, the EGL one, this is a summonable card, and she's one of the best support units in the game, and she's actually... She does something that we've not seen before, which is very interesting. There also is a Western Supreme Kai. Uh, I will do a video on her. She is a free-to-play unit that you can farm up from the Supreme Kai uh, vs. Kid Buu sort of story events. But doing that, uh, you can also go ahead and farm up the super attack level of the AGL Western Kai as well. Right there in Stage 1, you can get it. So you can get both of them the SA-10. Again, the SCR one, she'll be like a solid unit. She's a solid free-to-play unit. But the AGL summonable one is, again, insane. So let's hop into an event and let's go ahead and see just exactly how busted she is. Alright guys, so we'll go ahead and hop into the brand new transforming boo event, uh, sort of like this. Now, I do, I, I want to see a couple of things. I want to see uh, how she increases the attack power of units like Tech Vegito Blue. Uh, I also am pretty curious to see uh, what she can do with the Tech Supreme Kai as well. So this works out pretty good. Uh, in the first rotation, uh, we're going to have both God of Destruction Topo and the EGL Western Supreme Kai. Now, what she does is she gives a 40% attack and defensive buff for Realm of God category units. So she is support specifically uh, for the Realm of Gods team. The other thing that she does is she also gives everyone on the rotation an additional 7% chance to perform a crit. Now, this is not something we've seen before where a, a support unit is giving like other units a uh, better chance to crit or do additionals or do dodges. Like this, this is interesting. This will allow them to release some really interesting support units for characters like Krillin, right? So, so how about this? What if there is a Krillin uh, that would give, I don't know, uh, let's say Cell Saga uh, category units. Uh, okay, so she's at 400,000 right there. Not bad. I believe she's at 10% uh, in the dupe system right now. I will rainbow her, by the way, when I get uh, full dupes for her. But, of course, because she's summonable on the Boo banner, which I haven't really summoned on much, uh, I don't have um, enough, like, I don't have dupes to, to actually rainbow her, but I will. Now, let's say we get a Krillin, right, who is on the Cell Saga, like, he's a Cell Saga category support unit who gives, like, 40% attack and defense, and then he gives, like, a 10% chance to dodge. To all allies on rotation or something like that. Like, there's really interesting units. Okay, wow. So, <laughs> UI Koku at 2 million right off the bat. That's <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, especially when we consider that UI Goku, like, he raises his attack continuously throughout the fight. Like, this is a perfect sort of battle to kind of see, like, a lot of units get, like, uh, very impressive numbers be put up. So, I actually want uh, Supreme Kai uh, to go on to that first rotation. I want to see uh, what attacks that he can get with uh, God Topo and the AGL Supreme Kai as well. Hmm. But I'm going to want to see him in between. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that just like that. Uh, I probably should go ahead and heal. I, I took a little, like, a, a lot of damage there. Uh, not really a big deal. I'm not really too concerned about using items right here uh, in this fight. This is more of just a test, right? Like, I, I want to see, you know, what attacks that values uh, some of these top tier units can get. Oh, UI Goku, we're just not going to dodge, huh? Okay. All right. 70% chance to dodge UI Goku, and we just not dodging. We're not bobbing and weaving left and right on uh, Buhan, huh? We're just going to let him tag us all day. There you go. Uh, yeah, there you go, UI Goku. Jeez. Uh, I gotta say, one good thing was we were able to get uh, a transformed UI Goku out pretty quick, right? Usually, uh, you don't see him pop up in, you know, the first couple turns. Uh, and then there's Supreme Kai right there at 700,000. Now, Tech Vegito Blue. I'm gonna be very curious to see 
uh, exactly how high his attack set is going to be uh, in this next rotation with uh, God Topo and Western Supreme Kai. Now, this is going to be his first actual uh, appearance in this fight. So let's see what he starts out with. This will be very cool to see. Um, yeah, I want to do this so that he'll have a uh, fierce battle. Western Supreme Kai, she's going to get roughed up a little bit again. Uh, it, it's no big deal. Wait, doesn't God Topo... I think God Topo does give a slight uh, attack buff if he super attacks. So we'll we'll go ahead and let him super attack. And we'll see what Tech Vegito Blue, his very first super of the battle, what attacks that he can get. Is he going to be like <laughs> at like 1.5 million or something? I mean, that, that would be insane to see if Tech Vegito Blue would get like that high. Like first super of the fight. Yeah, 1.5. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! And this man can just pop out attacks left and right, left and right. Oh, good. Two attacks. Like, oh, why? Every time. <laughs> he always gets two attacks. I'm going to have to redo his potential system and give him more additional or something. That shit is just crazy. Uh, okay, so for now, I think I'll probably leave the UI Gokus together. Uh, and I actually think I want to get uh, Blue Vegeta uh, around uh, the Supreme Kai. I think Blue Vegeta, of all the units, he's one who could really get a buff uh, from that Western Supreme Kai. Him and Tech Vegito Blue, because the fact that she gives an extra 7% chance to perform a crit is very good. But when we're talking units that hit multiple times, like Blue Vegeta and Tech Vegito Blue... All of a sudden, that becomes a disgusting ability. Like, you know, let's say Tech Vegito Blue supers three or four times. She's giving him an extra 7% chance to crit per attack. So that, like, just 7% becomes very, very substantial. And same thing for Blue Vegeta. Uh, a lot of his attacks do end up just being normal attacks because they can't be supers. But, like, if those are normal crits... Like, that damage can still add up. Like, like you know, um, he's no slouch at all. Uh, okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and use... I'm going to just pop an Icarus at this point. Uh, since this is uh, quite a weak uh, defensive rotation here. Now, let's see what our boy uh, Supreme Kai can do uh, on this rotation right here. In between God Topo and then also uh, the AGL Supreme Kai. Uh, he should probably be able to get to like 1.3, maybe 1.4-ish. Uh, that would be pretty good for him. Again, completely free-to-play unit. Able to get a number like that is very impressive. Like, you know, I, I am very pleased with what they've done with uh, free-to-play units as of late. Uh, very good stuff. All right, so, yeah, okay. Her critting right there, okay, 1.2 I think is about the max we'll see from Tech Supreme Kai. I want to show this in a second, but my Western Supreme Kai cannot crit from the potential system. So that crit she just did, that was from uh, her passive. Very good, very good. Yo, okay, okay. See, now we're getting on to something. Like, if they're going to start releasing shit like this, my boy, yes, 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 yes. Uh, we'll have, I'm going to have Tech Vegito Blue go first. Uh, because Buhan's just going to erase all this damage. So, going over to the AGL Western Supreme Kai. As you guys can see, 10% in the dupe system. She just has additional. And she critted right there. So, that was indeed from her passive. Uh, I will use a Android 8 as well. Really blowing through a lot of items right here. Jeez. Uh, and then we'll just have the UI Goku's actually attack right there. Is Yeah, okay. So, Boo Piccolo, he's only healing in the first turn. So, any damage uh, after this uh, will finally stick to him. Uh, I still am probably going to do a video, by the way, where... Uh, what I might do, I think it'll be a fun fun idea, is where I'll build a full transformation team. Like, you know, maybe like LR Vegito, LR Gogeta, the Blue Goku, you know, Evolution Blue Vegeta, UI Goku. And then try and get, like, all of them to transform... And then also get to the end of this fight to see uh, what like what the last stage holds here. I, I think it's just it's probably the STR dancing boo, but uh, I have not seen it. I, I just know 
that the last stage uh, is STR because it says in the event notes. Uh, but I, I haven't actually seen it done yet. Um, okay, perfect. Okay. So, oh, well, not going to be able to super attack, huh? Actually, yeah. Okay, so we'll have Supreme Guy do that. Now Blue Vegeta can super attack. The only thing is he's not going to have... He's not going to have Fierce Battle, Super Saiyan. Like, very common links we normally would have uh, are not going to be active for our boy Blue Vegeta right here. But he should still do substantial damage. Yeah, 1.3 million, even though uh, he basically has no <laughs> links active right now. Uh, okay, pretty good, pretty good. And then Supreme Kai is still at 800,000. Yeah, I, you know, I do like that Supreme Kai unit. Very fun, very fun. And I, I feel like crits, crits are coming in a, a little bit more often on her rotation. That's for damn sure. Uh, okay, we'll probably finish off this uh, mofo right here. Uh, this is a very strong rotation. God Topo, Tech Vegito Blue, and UI Goku. Now, Western Supreme Kai, she's crazy, right? She's insane. She is, like, pretty much a better version of God Topo. Uh... She obviously does not awaken, so she doesn't have, like, Fierce Battle. But she does have Godly Power, which is, like, a main sort of uh, attack link that God Topo had. Now, she is a direct replacement to God Topo, but I do think you could get away with using both on the same team. Uh, it might actually... The team might actually work a little better that way. Uh, so maybe something like Tech Vegito Blue and UI Goku on a rotation... Uh, SCR Rose and LR Goku Black, and then yeah, maybe like God Topo plus uh, uh, EGL Supreme Kai. Although, you do want to get Evolution Blue Vegeta on there as well. He's just like too good not to use, like, seriously. He is a monster of a unit. So, it, there, yeah, the, the Realm of Gods team has actually gotten to the point where there's like there's too many good units, like. It's like you can't fit all of the good units on this team anymore. It's crazy, man. And I remember when that Realm of God scene first came out being like, eh, you know, all these units are old. I see why people are excited, but it's not all there. And now it's like, oh, <laughs> yo, is it crazy? I mean, what if, who knows what happens in the Broly movie, right? But I'm sure we're going to get a new Realm of Gods unit from the Broly movie somewhere in there. Be it Blue Gogeta. You know, Jiren is in the Realm of Gods category, so could Broly be in there? I think so. Like, we'll see what happens. But uh, I I am so excited to see all the uh, Broly movie stuff in Dokkan. That is going to be so exciting once that finally starts happening. But, all right. So, let's take a look at this Western Supreme Kai. This is Defender of the Sanctuary, West Supreme Kai. Her leader skill is Realm of Gods category key 2 and... 80% to stats, so not bad, not bad. Uh, it is good that there is finally other Realm of Gods category leaders besides UI Goku. Her super attack is the Divine Light Bullet, which greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy. Her passive skill, Godly War, is Realm of Gods category allies 40% to attack and defense, and she gives them an extra 7% chance to create all the units on the rotation. Here's the thing. She does not awaken yet. Turles gives 40% after he awakens. So when this Western Supreme Kai eventually awakens, which I'm sure will happen, she's going to be above 40%. It's going to be very impressive once that actually happens. Uh, her links are Courage, The Innocence, Shocking Speed, Battlefield Diva, Godly Power, and Supreme Power. Hmm... Uh, shocking speed. What shocking speed units are on the Realm of Gods? I mean, the Beerus units. Uh, God Goku would have shocking speed. Merge Zamasu does not have shocking speed, does he? Uh, no, he does not. So, shocking speed is not the greatest for Realm of Gods. I guess Jiren does have it as well. Uh, maybe she could be useful for Jiren. Like, if you're gonna do, like... Maybe a God Topo and Jiren rotation, and then AGL West Kai as a floater. Like, she could probably help uh, buff Jiren out a lot if you want to use him on the Realm of Gods team. But for the most part, Shocking Speed is not too helpful. Uh, Realm of Gods is mainly Prepare for Battle and Over in a Flash. Those are the two main links there. 
Uh, her 12 key multiplier is 130%, which is very, very low. Uh, especially for a unit of this caliber. I guess they don't want to make her too OP, considering she doesn't even awaken yet. Uh, and she does have three categories. Uh, she's on the Realm of Gods category, which of course is, you know, where she's intended to be used, since she is a Realm of Gods category support unit. Uh, she is also on the Buark category, where I don't think she'll be too helpful uh, in there, not at all, because really it's just her and the Supreme Kai in the Realm of Gods category. And she is also on the Patara team. Now, it's weird that she's on the Patara team, because, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm going to go ahead and look through this list. I believe she is the only unit on here that's wearing the Patara earrings that either is not fused or does not fuse. Yeah, yep, she is. Uh, because Supreme Kai, like, because I, <laughs> I said that before and someone corrected me like, well, yeah, but Kabito's in there and Supreme Kai's in there. They're wearing the earrings all the time. It's like, yeah, but they fuse at one point. This is the first unit placed on the category. She's just wearing the earrings. She's not actually, you know, fusing with them at any point. So that does lead the question, like, why is, like, SCRZ Sword Gohan not in the category? Like, that's an inconsistency, which I don't like. But she actually could be of some use on the Patara category, by the way. Because as we all know, Tech Vegito Blue, SCR Rose Goku Black... LR Goku Black, LR Vegito Blue are all on the Patara category, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of good Realm of Gods units on that Patara category. There's a lot of overlap between those two categories. So you definitely could use uh, Western Supreme Kai here on the Patara category, and she could be very useful. Like, really, now, the best, like, attack stat we would see from several units uh, including probably Tech Vegito Blue, SCR Rose Goku Black, LR Goku Black, all of them, it would now be them and the Patara team with Western Supreme Kai on the rotation. She would give them just a monstrous godly buff. So she is a very impressive unit. Do not sleep on her. But at the same time, uh, I don't think summoning on that Super Boo banner is really that good of an idea. So try and wait for her to come to you naturally through like world tournament summons or summoning on, you know, future Dokkan Fest, things like that. Uh, I promise you a lot of you guys will pull her unfeatured, you know, from that GSSR spot at the end in future banners. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch y'all next time.